Hello, this is Death Rider, and welcome back to Final Fantasy 1. In the last episode, I believe that <clears throat> I believe that was when I took a quick visit over to Crescent Lake, the town off to the far east. And now I am heading towards the first fiend. Now I'm not sure if I need to start in the cave where the first fiend is, and then get out and do this other errand you need to do, or if you can get this item on this other errand first, which would save a lot of time, because instead of going in halfway in the dungeon, go halfway in the dungeon, come out and go all the way through, uh, you could just get this and go all the way through in one go. And I will be fleeing a fair amount of these enemies. These wolves are annoying. And I have indigestion for some reason. Ooh, preemptive. We should be able to get away right away. Yeah. So if you go over to the western edge, you have the giant's cave. Oh right, you can't get through. You shall not pass. No reference intended. So you do actually need to go through the cave a little bit. Because you need to get what's known as the Star Ruby, which is what those giants like to eat. Wow, preemptive strike every time. Makes fleeing easy. So we are level 15. We're on track. We're on a good track right now. Probably level up three or four times inside here. Cavern of Earth. So I'm going to start by going up here. There are a handful of treasure chests in here. Oh my god. Ooh. This I will do. Hey, you have 200 magics. Might as well use them. 200 magics that are only for this. Ooh, jeez. I just turned my mic off and on. I hope that wasn't too annoying. Ah, uh, I always get caught in a battle right there. Ah, jeez. Eh, it's not really a big deal. And this should be an Earth Elemental. Yep. And I'll just attack him normally. Hopefully I'll remember to edit that out. Heard pounding on the door, it was my cat, not my sister. I thought it was my sister. Alright. Heal him up after that brutal attack. So then I'll go down here. Not that way. If you go that way, the whole corner over there is literally just, like, every step will be an encounter. Thought there used to be something here. Oh, my God. Constantly with 
this. Hmm. Let's go this way. Oh, and we're ambushed. Great. Oh, wait. We got better defense. So. That wasn't that bad. Generally, what I would do in this situation is I'd have my three guys, the three top guys flee, and then my my black mage would cast fire or something. In case, in the case we're not able to flee, then at least we can have a chance to kill them all. Ugh. Actually, I kind of remember not being able to flee from these guys. I don't. I said earlier that they are weak to fire. I'm not, actually not 100% sure. They might not be. It might not matter. Blizzard might just be strong enough to take them out anyway. Which it is. So whether they're weak to fire or not, it's irrelevant. Jasper, 28. Sauron, 3. 18. Okay, cool. Dead end. Wonderful. I think I get caught by that every time. I honestly don't think we can flee from these guys. There's some enemies that you just can't flee from, or if you can, it's just incredibly difficult. Ooh, we got a two-hit two, two hit hammerhead. Oh my god, if this... If I'm getting all these random encounters, this might end up being a longer episode. Alright. Gil. And Earth Elemental. These guys are an... They're a good example of enemies you cannot flee from. Y you cannot flee from this. Well, most guaranteed random encounters you can't flee from, such as this, are the Pisco Demons and the Marsh Cave. Like, you actually cannot flee it. You willingly went into that tile space and off that for a potion. Oh, jeez. The frequency on these. And I didn't, Rosa didn't get healed. But this is kind of the point in the game where death is not as common. I'm kind of past that early, whoops, well, that early weakness where death is very easy. Kind of past that. Uh, I'll probably have to kill one of these anacondas. Well, I already have them for Beast Jerry. I'll probably try to 100% Beast Jerry here. Like I did in FF12. Final Fantasy 12. I don't know why I do that. Oof. I doubt she'll get this out. Like, we might kill him first. Yep, we'll kill him first. Oh, jeez. Uh, you'll probably get this heal off. Well, not if Sauron goes first. Ah, there we go. Don't think it does much, though. Yeah, it's debatably worth it. Second floor. B2. There's only one really good chest here that I can remember of, and it is a pretty decent weapon. It is a weapon. And I know exactly where it is. More or less. Are these the ones that poison? Yep, they are. I mean, they all might poison, but these guys I know have a high frequency, or high chance of poisoning, rather. Helps to buy the high quality armor before coming in here. Is this it? Nope, that's kill. It'll probably have an enemy, really. Oh, you seriously now? Is he gonna move? There we go. There it is, Coral Sword. Especially effective against aquatic enemies. Yeah. Not 
heavily better, but better nonetheless. So that's the only chest of note in this floor, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that is. Okay. Well, I could be wrong. I'm gonna wait a second. Okay. I thought maybe waiting a second would not cause a random encounter right away. There's a certain mini boss that I want to take down in this episode, so this episode might go a little longer. Oops. He's getting poisoned all the time now. Oh, there is another chest room here. Preemptive, good. Let's get out of here. I've been enjoying editing videos only 15 minutes, 16 minutes. They process a lot faster. And of course, they, they're about a gig. A 15 episode is about one gigabyte of space. I'm actually thinking, I'm gonna go back to Runeblade because I feel like he did more damage with that. Eh, well, can't really say. Oh, okay, so it was worth coming back down here. Ooh, yeah, certainly worth it. 5,000 gil? Heck yeah. We'll be spending a lot of gil on spells. This early on in the game, that's pretty much all you'll really spend a lot of gil on. I mean, yeah, weapons armor is good, but gil is where it's at. Uh, let's try some Blizzara. I don't know if air is considered the opposing force to Earth. Eh. So, out of this floor. Tarantula. Every time, every time the Jasper. Wrong person. Might as well heal him up over in the menu. This is where things can get a little messy if you don't have anything that can heal stone. I mentioned that in, in an earlier video. There are some enemies known known as pyrolisks here. They're birds. They tend to inflict stone. Uh, we might not be able to flee this. Let me check. I got a leather shield before. Well, that answers that. Uh oh. Well, these guys shouldn't be that big of a deal. Stress and Blizzara. Yeah, we got better defense, so these guys aren't even all that threatening. Hopefully, he'll kill them just for the sake of time. And he doesn't. Who is that, Kane? 27. Alright. And just another big sum lump sum of gill. Hey, I ain't complaining, but... You know. Oh, I remember this room. Ah! I guess I don't. Oh, an Earth Elemental. Cool. Just because the programmers knew someone like me would just walk right on in. 
not really knowing what's in there. Jasper, six. Kane, three. That was Kane that leveled up there? Not really paying attention, apparently. I don't know if you can flee from these guys, so I'm gonna do this. Uh oh. These guys are the paralysis enemies. Alright, I knew that there was a undead enemy in here that you couldn't flee from. And I assumed right. We're almost done, though. Ah, uh, this way. Ooh. Ah, shoot. They changed the spelling of these name these enemies. Because in Final Fantasy XII, for instance, there was a... In Demon, it wasn't Demon. It was like Daemon. With an A-E. Wow, Kane's up to five hit already. And he's only at three hit. And another thousand gil. Ah, here we are. Mini boss time. All things in this world are destined to end in death. The shield cannot be broken, and so the earth shall rot. I am a vampire. You cannot alter destiny. Mere mortals cannot kill the undying. And vampire time. Sadly for him, we have his weakness. I'm not even gonna buff up. This is like, I think he has 400 HP. Ed well, we'll find out. Okay, so there's 200. Four. Yep. Yeah, yeah, what a mini boss. I consider myself a little under level for this area, but, well, that's actually debatable after seeing that. Star Ruby. Nice. And then you'll. Uh huh. Well, you'll notice at the end of this path here, there is a stone slab that you cannot get past. If I can only show you guys. Are you the same four that got me last time? Yeah. So you can't get through. And that item I said that you get elsewhere, that little side quest thingy, not really a side quest, uh, whatever I said it was, that's what you need to get through there. And next time you'll see me, I will be back at that cave with that giant asking for Star Ruby because I actually got the Star Ruby. Got myself a Star Ruby. So next time you see me, I'll be feeding the giant thing a Star Ruby. Until then, this is my Death Runner. See you guys next time. Goodbye.